stopping the violence. This officer was severely injured by an attacking inmate. You always have to be aware of your surroundings because the first opportunity they get, they're going to they're gonna attack. I'm not going to say a little bit of fear hasn't gripped me because uh, there has been those times, but uh, um, we've, we've always been able to get through it. We'll just go through in a systematic way, line up, go through, get them down on the ground, cuff them up, and get them out of there. While the officers work to control the incident, they rely on the gunners to watch their backs. The number one priority of any gunner, of any armed position, in any prison, in anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world is to make sure they know where their staff members are. We don't want staff getting attacked and we're not watching it. We want to catch it before it happens. So I'm concerned about uh, the situation, whether an inmate is stabbing another inmate. But i got to be honest with you, I'm watching the other cops back at the same time, probably uh, even more so, just to make sure that each and every one of us who are in green go home at the end of the day. Once the inmates are down and cuffed, the yard becomes a crime scene. We process evidence, take photographs, complete reports, report to our supervisors, testify in court. The squad trains regularly with an arsenal of both lethal and non-lethal weapons. Their biggest tools in a riot are the pepper spray and CN gas. These gases are designed to be totally blinding and incapacitating to the inmates, yet the squad has been trained to work in them. Especially when an officer or, or uh, inmates are involved and someone's life's at stake, then you have to basically try to suck it up. When the system returns, a late night raid on a Pelican Bay housing unit. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Pelican Bay's security squad works a beat that is dominated by prison gangs, inmates who are extremely sophisticated in their methods of hiding weapons and contraband. To catch them, the squad relies on the element of surprise. We're going to hit six. We're going to wave count, but we won't do that in the morning either. Till we'll do that in the morning, because we, we don't want any heads up on us. Okay. Sergeant Sam Banky will lead a task force of correctional officers who will conduct a late night raid. In A section, we have Northerns, Southerns, uh, Crips. Crips, Whites, Bloods. It, it's a full complement okay. of every rival gang. Okay. So who knows what we'll find. Okay. The purpose of tonight's raid is to find contraband, like weapons and drugs, and to gather information on any upcoming attacks. When we go through the cells, we want to do what? We want to go ahead and cuff them up right away. Get them in the clothes we're supposed to have on them, and just slow down. Get your lights out, get your lights out, get your lights out. Let's go. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Take your side, Chris. The inmates are cuffed and escorted to holding cells. Get up. Turn the light on. Turn the light on. Get your light on, man. Turn your light on. You need to turn your light on, man. Okay, get your shower shoes on. You said ready to roll. Just shower shoes, shorts, t-shirt. Screws around neighborhoods. You got him, Jennifer? Check that belt line good. I got this side of school over here. Yep. Go. An inmate confesses to possession of alcohol. Okay. Your being forthcoming and truthful with me uh, carries a lot of weight with me, okay? If you need probes or mirrors, oh, we got to just sign them up, okay? The search turns up a variety of illegal contraband. This little pruner, a little homemade fermented alcohol. Weapons can be fashioned out of everyday items. It's a pen, but yet because of the tip and the way it's shaped, it could very well be used as a weapon. It's a lighter. It's a light cigarette. Got some coded material here, which is Swahili words and their meaning. In one cell, like Officer Phil here. Rangel finds some coded messages. Canaz, the money of which has not been paid, and there's the word right there. So, these are codes that they use through the mail. Officer Rangel specializes in breaking inmates' coded messages. Break codes, translate letters. If they want to make a hit on somebody that's at another institution or on the streets, they can use the coded words to be able to uh, 
convey the message. Most of the uh, gang members that we have here are the Mexican Mafia and the Norteños. They use the Nahuatl as words to disguise information, so we wouldn't be able to pick up on it. A lot of meaning in a lot of these pictures and they draw. They put a lot of thought into them. You really got to look at them close to figure everything out. That's how they end up. Smoking too much crack. Bound by prison walls and wires. There's your cell block. Cells. There's Constantine wire. There he is. Wants to be a biker, but he's stuck. Can't get out. Any medication that does not have their name labeled on it, we take because it's usually contraband. Again, someone's passing it out. Maybe it's gambling debts. Maybe it's some medication that's hard to get in here. Kathy Neely is the newest member of the squad and the only female. In just a few months, she's learned what it's like to deal with some of the most violent and dangerous criminals in captivity. Gangsters, criminals, and they all have a criminal mind. You know, and they've got 24 hours a day to beat us. We've got eight hours that we're here that we try to beat them basically at their own game. Ooh, the smell. Okay, pull it out slow. You do a lot of investigation work, which you don't get to do on a normal basis out there on the line um, and that's interesting to me I'm a nosy person so so I'm enjoying that part of it and following through to find when we do a cell search to find the drugs or to find the weapons for many young inmates Pelican Bay is a part of their criminal education Escort, come around. he would have to come in and he would have to he would have to show his respect to those elders or those that are teaching him there would be inmates actually designated to instruct him on what how to behave in prison they may be required to move weapons or have family members bring drugs in or make tuna for somebody or hold weapons in their cell. I mean, it's just a way of them guys proving themselves. Two inmates have tested positive on the metal detectors. Check out here, man. Back out. Open your mouth. Okay, what we got here is these two guys here. In their cell, we found a cup, a plastic Xylon cup. That's the state issue cup. It was cut. There's still a piece about the sear large in the cell, we discovered. So we're going to tape these guys up, and they're going to be taken to contraband watch, where they're going to spend 72 hours until we get the rest of the cup. Just tape my right, we'll tight. The inmates are suspected of hiding weapons on their person. Their clothes will be taped to prevent them from discarding the weapons. When we searched the area out there, we didn't find anything. Just tape them? Yeah, we taped them. We're going to yeah, take I, them up I, top. I okay. Give them, we'll give them about half an hour up there to see if they want to... We're going to go ahead and take these guys up to uh, holding cells. We searched the cells prior to putting the inmates in the holding cells. That way we know if there's anything discovered in the holding cells. After we remove them, that it was theirs. Uh, it's just a, what we call sanitizing the cell. How about you? Get anything up your ass? I can take it to the x-ray if you want. That'd be a lot easier. Do you volunteer the x-ray? Oh, yeah. How about you, man? Do you volunteer the x-ray too? Okay, where's the cup at, man? When inmates commit crimes in Pelican Bay, such as possession of weapons, assault, or murder, they are prosecuted in court, just like criminals on the street. Uh, the big case we got is the Haddock's trial. It's getting ready to happen on the 19th. John Kubacek is Pelican Bay's liaison between the prison and the local courts. As crimes occur within the prison, uh, they're referred to my office, and I screen them and refer them as uh, is appropriate to the district attorney's office for possible prosecution. Now, can you blow that up at all? Uh, yes, um, okay. Today, the squad is studying video of an alleged stabbing in order to prepare a case of attempted murder against an inmate. 